and I'm here to show you my new part, handheld thermal. Just arrived, we'll open it up now and have a look what's inside. This is a G19, they made three of them, a G19, a G25 and a G35. The only difference is the front lens is bigger G35 representing the 35mm lens, 25 represents the 25mm lens, and 19 represents the 19mm lens. The only difference is the distance that it gives you. I first saw these at the Double S, Double A Expo in October last year, and been trying to get my hands on one ever since. Okay, let's open it up. Hard case. It's got its breather on it. It's sturdy case. Well made. Or foam line. You got an instruction. You got a battery charger. It's got digital readout. Got the adapter for the battery charger. Two batteries, and it's got the unit. And there's the unit. As you can see, it's got its own TV monitor. A little bit bigger than a Samsung phone. This side's pretty blank. This side's got your little box. I did order the ones with the long range finder on it. So this will give me a distance of where my crosshairs are. It's got the 90mm lens, focus. I haven't seen one on the market yet with its own screen. All the other ones I've been using, you have to actually look into them. And after a while it gives you a sore eye. I'm hoping this one eliminates all that problem. I do a lot of shooting by myself, a lot of nighttime shooting by myself. So this, this is why I chose it. So it's got its own screen. I don't have to keep putting something up to my eye to detect. I'm hoping that this thing is as good as it looks and feels. And we're gonna take it out now into the field and show you what it can do. See you then. disappeared in there. There's one, two, three, four, five of them there. You can just see the other one walk in. He's in the bush just there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I've had a chance to take this little beauty out in the last month in the paddock. See what it can do, what it can't do. I've tested it in the rain, fog, dark nights, moon nights, daylight. What a weapon for vermin control, for farmers. Give you the edge back. When you roll up to a paddock, you got deers. You got vermin, whatever vermin you got, and you pull this out, you're not disturbing them. Distance, up to a kilometre, um, I've put it on a, some cows that were past a kilometre and still pick them up. It's a small white dot, but it still picks them up. Within the open paddocks and close range, uh, there's a black spot mode on it that gives you more definition. I just can't get used to finding them on the black spot mode because I'm used to looking at the white dot instead of the black dot. But certainly when you find it and you switch to that mode, the outline of the animals that you're looking at are a lot clearer. There's another feature this has got. Uh, it's in-box zoom. So you get a little box come up there. That's your zoom box. You can go two times or four times and still have a wide angle view with your big screen. Great idea. If you're a solo shooter like myself, a little laser pointer there, a little laser pointer there, great idea. Great idea for night vision. If you've got night vision, it gives you a side of line where you should start looking. Use these both together with night vision and what a combination. The rangefinder in this struggles pretty bad in the fog, but besides that, through rain, through dark nights, moon nights, daylight, we've had it out, I've had it out and have a look around with it. I can't get it past to go past 500 metres. The book says 800. But the only thing I didn't use on this yet, and I hope I don't ever use it, is hot tracking. It's a, it's a feature on this unit that'll track any disturbance on the ground, fresh disturbance, um, blood trails. Um, it's a little bit, you've got to go into the menu and find it and set it up. But I haven't used it yet. The uh, upside to having one of these is you don't have to put anything to your eye. There's no monocular. All the thermals that you see out there are monoculars or binoculars or scopes. This one here with the screen, it gives you one an advantage that you don't have to stop and look. If you're a farmer checking paddocks, you don't have to stop every five minutes and look around. You just wave it around like a spotlight. You can drive with the unit on, resting up against the window, driving, no problem. Something that I'd like to see improved would be these buttons here. At the moment, the unit's made for a left-hander, not a right-hander. And how do I know that? Is when you're holding it right hand and you've got to reach the buttons, and you've got to reach for the buttons, you've got to go right across the side of you. Or you've got to bring it to you, to the buttons, and then bring it back to what you've got it on. If you had them on this side, It'd be a right hand tool. If you've got them on the left hand, if you're using it left hand, they're fine. Another thing I'd like to see done, I'd like to see a little bit of plastic introduced to the unit, just to give it a coat of plastic because it does, when you knock it against the window or against the door, being all aluminium cased, it does make a ting and dang and you don't want to damage it. I think plastic grip would be better in the colder nights and something to protect your screen, rubber band around the screen. So when you've got it outside and you're looking around, 
and you want to go back into your scope, you can just put it down onto the bonnet, knowing that you're not going to scratch your, your lens and that. There's one other thing I'd like to see done to this. So I'd like to see that screen, instead of flipping that way, I'd like it to flip this way, like onto the side of it, the unit. That way there you could make it a portable unit and make a, a pistol holster type for it. At the moment it's pretty hard to take this walking around in the bush. Uh, you've got nowhere to put it. If it had a pistol holster and that screen would fold to the side, I'd feel that that would be the ultimate unit. As a spotter, as something to replace your spotlight, as something to have an edge over vermin, definitely look into thermal. Definitely look into thermal. Out of a rating of one to five, I'd certainly rate it out of four and a half. And the only reason it didn't get a five star is, like I said, it needed plastic coating. The buttons are on the wrong side. and definitely need to protect the screen for it and a carry, carry a side on carry. Now, what you see in front of me is the new wave of shooting. And trust me, you pick one up, whether it be this, whether it be a monocular, whether it be binoculars, as a spotter, thermal is the new wave of shooting. Stay tuned. We're going to take these babies out for a test run. This is the latest in night vision scopes. Um, the ATN 4K Pro and the Pulsar Digitex. We're going to take these out in the field and see what they can do. So stay tuned. We're in for some fun.